Being scammed hurts a lot. Well, yeah, I've shed a lot of tears, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's Brandon Larson of Utah. Brandon was taken online by an app that mimicked one that transfers financial information from one device to another. In his case, that mistake scored scammers over $384,000. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Good to see you, sir. Oh, it's great to be back. Happy Monday, Jimmy. So scams are an ever-evolving thing, aren't they? Un unfortunately, though, we're, we're hearing from our, our citizens on a regular basis, um, whether they're going online, trying to apply for a loan, and, 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 and getting connected with fraudulent people. And matter of fact, I got two calls just last Friday on my cell phone and telling me that my social security number has been involved in criminal fraudulent activity and the authorities have been notified and please press one to speak to a live person. Of course, I do press one because I want to, you know, talk to these people, and, <laughs> you know, and then they ask me, says, please, please verify your name. I tell them, well, you have my name because you've called me and they hung up on me. I mean, you know, it, it's it, it is growing It is exponentially growing on our on at a rate that we can't um, can't even fathom. You know? right. And the bad part about it is they're, they're using, when they call you, they're using spoof phone numbers a lot of times, so it's, it's really hard to track these things down. So your best advice is just hang up on them? Uh, hang up on them. Uh, and my best advice, don't tell anybody who calls you unsolicited over the phone, don't tell them anything. Because I'm a, if they call you unsolicited, more than likely it is a scam. Okay. If it is re if you're really having an issue with your financial services or something real, um, it's going to start with some notifications in writing. All right. Yeah. So th just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right. So taking a look at our update, you got one. Devaris Ron Von Bowen profiled, uh, gosh, <laughs> April 5th, not yeah. long ago. Yeah, that, I like you. I like you when you get him that quick. So that's one off the books. All right, so you got a new list for us. Let's take a look at that. Here's your first one, and I think it's Alexis Darnasia Dupont. I have, yeah, Alexis Dupont. Uh, she's uh, five foot seven, 185 pounds. She's 23 years old, and we believe her to be right here in Salisbury still. And she's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court bench warrant that was just issued last month in a case where she's already been convicted of neglect of a minor and she's violated the terms of her probation so she gets to go back in front of the judge but we have to find her first take a good look at benjamin edward giles jr benjamin giles jr he's 22 years old we believe him to be right here in salisbury that's our address for him but we have received some information they may have left the area we have an arrest warrant for him we've been trying to find him for almost two years the arrest warrant stems from uh, some credit card um, misuses where he's used other people's information, used other people's credit cards, and and racked up some substantial amounts here. So if anybody knows where Benjamin Giles is, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers. This is Bruce Lee Jones. He's 40 years old. We believe him to be right here in Salisbury, and he's wanted. We have two circuit court bench warrants that are both issued last month. They were both issued when he failed to make an appearance and the circuit court to answer burglary charges. So if anybody knows where Bruce Jones is, please pick up the phone and give Crime Solvers a ring. Do you recognize Florence Virginia Lednam? Florence Lednam, she's 48 years old. We have an address for her right here in Salisbury. And she is wanted on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued back in March, just last month, when she failed to appear to answer a violation on probation charge in a case where she's already been convicted of theft. Do you know where Stephen Lawrence McCormick Jr. is? Stephen McCormick Jr., he's 24 years old. We last have an address for him in Princess Anne, and he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued back in February after he violated the terms of his pretrial release in a case where he's awaiting trial of CDS possession with the intent to distribute. And finally, Joseph Dean Sterling Jr. Joseph Sterling Jr., he's 55 years old. We have an address for him in the Del Mar area. And he's wanted on an arrest warrant. We've been trying to find him since last summer. The arrest warrant contains charges of harassment, telephone misuse, electronic communication harassment, and MDOP, uh, which is commonly referred to as vandalism. So if anybody knows where Joseph Sterling is, please pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers. And any of these people we profiled today, if they're out of Salisbury, if they're out of the state, please don't hesitate to still report their location. In many circumstances, we can bring them back, get them a ride back to Maryland. All righty. You've seen the pictures. You know the numbers. Give them a call. Lieutenant Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Thank you again.
See you next week. Take care now.